Do you want to grab a corner and talk about what you have been up to? Hey, Vivian. There are a few people here I have to meet. Another time, maybe. Are you coming? Yes, yes. Samuel, are you still lying to me? Tell me, who is she? Um... What's going on between Bryce and Natalie? Why is she always around him? Vivian, trust me, it's not what you think. Natalie's just... someone Bryce cares about. Someone he cares about? More like someone he's protecting. I've seen the way he looks at her. Look, Bryce has his reasons. It's complicated. Vivian, the lesser you know, the better. She's not really his relative, is she? Tell me, Samuel. No, she's not. I knew there's something fishy. You both are hiding something from me. I think Bryce loves her. Ow! What's wrong? I twisted my ankle. Ugh. Sit down here. It's really swollen. We should head home now. I'll arrange for the car to come around. Wait here. But the gala... Your health is more important. He is willing to sacrifice the gala for me? Maybe I should try to walk and see if I can pull through this. Ugh, damn, it's paining. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. It's okay. It was an honest mistake. No, no. I have to get you another dress. Just give me a minute. You really don't have to. I will be leaving the party soon. I insist. I want to clean that dress for you and give it back. You're just like the characters in your films. Oh, you know me? Of course. Everyone here knows who you are. I should not belong in the entertainment industry if I don't know Billy Wicker. You're too kind. Anyway, let me call my guy. We'll get you a new dress, and you can give that dress so that we can clean it. Okay, if you insist. Where are you, Natalie? I asked you to stay here. There she is. What happened to your dress? It's a long story. Billy Wicker dropped wine on it. Okay. Let's talk about it in the car. So, Billy Wicker? Yeah, he dropped wine and was very sorry about it. So he insisted that he give me another dress. And you let him? Like I said, he was very insistent. Is everything okay? You should be more careful around men in such situations. You're a married woman now, or have you forgotten that? Bryce? I didn't change in front of him. Even then. Are you jealous? <sighs> no. My ankle still hurts. Aren't you going to help me? Have you become heavier after the gala? How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time I heard Mr. Claire laugh. Ouch! Damn it! Natalie, are you okay? I slipped in the shower. It hurts. Let me see. But... Sit down. I need to see it. Oh no, I walked in on something I wasn't supposed to. It's swollen even more. We need to ice it and keep it elevated. I'm sorry for all the trouble. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Let's get you settled. My, my, what's all this? Another accident? I slipped in the shower. Mm-hmm, slipped in the shower. Always a dangerous place, isn't it? It was just a minor accident, Mrs. Perkins. <laughs> uh-huh, minor. Well, be careful, both of you. I think I'll be fine after some rest. Yes, rest is what you need. I'll get you some ice. Just like a young couple, those two. Careful. Thanks, Bryce. This ankle is more stubborn than I thought. Take it slow. You'll get through this. Mom, should we cancel the picnic since you're injured? No way. Plus, we are doing it right behind the house, so we'll be fine. You sure you will be okay? Yes, Mr. Claire. Otherwise, you can carry her like last night. Good idea about the picnic, Mrs. Perkins. 
too bad you got injured, Mrs. Claire. It's no bother. I can hardly feel any pain right now. And the little I do is worth it. Check. Wow. I told you I won't lose again. One second. Yeah, Samuel? Okay. Right now? Okay, I'll be there. What's the matter, Dad? Samuel has come to see me. I'll be back. He's leaving because he's about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vivian. You are here too. Yes, I thought we could all hang out and grab lunch. I'm actually a little busy at the moment. You're always busy these days, Bryce. What exactly are you busy with? <laughs> <laughs> what is this kid doing here? What happened, Liam? Liam got wet, so I brought him back to change. Go upstairs, Liam. Don't catch a cold. Bryce, why do you care so much about that kid? Since you're here, let's eat before you leave. Bryce, please answer me. We are not eating till you give me an answer. We should go. We'll visit another day. Leave me. I need to know, Samuel. Vivian, please, let's go. We'll come back later. Samuel, why did you drag me away? I need to know what's going on. Vivian, you've caused enough trouble. Let's go back and talk. Mom, a lady's up the house with Dad, and she's shouting at him. <sighs> Vivian again. Don't worry, Natalie. Bryce and Vivian are just old friends. I know Mrs. Perkins. I believe in Bryce. Vivian has always liked Bryce, but he sees her as a sister. I understand, Mrs. Perkins. Thank you. Nick says his family has postponed our engagement. What does their family mean by this? It's because of our situation. Our company's losses are making the Bernards insecure and unhappy. Don't cry, darling. We'll fix this. Please do something. I can't think of not having Nick. Tom, you need to think of something. It's all Natalie's fault. She's always causing trouble. Do you think she has someone powerful helping her? I doubt it. Who would want to help someone like her? She's ruining everything for us. We need to find a way to use her. Either marry her off, or make her work at that fancy escort agency, Heaven. It could solve all our problems. Natalie won't help us willingly. We need to do what's best for Cheryl. Will Tom really sell his daughter to an escort agency? Will Natalie be able to protect herself? To find out what happens next, download the Pocket FM app. Link in the description.